From jail bars to gospel beats, Krishan Rock turns to Jesus, and now she's taking the gospel to the hood. Y'all check this out. Undoing a lot and yeah. starting over, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do worldly music no more and just do like a uh, gospel. Well, like yeah. hood gospel, I would say. Uh, what is hood gospel? I want to know what hood gospel is. Um, like. Yahweh, Yahweh, there's only one way and it's Godway. Yahweh. Yahweh, there's only one way and it's God way. Took my baby to get blessed and they said it's for clout. I'm going to do my best for me and mine. That's from here on out. Trying to change my life, but all these demons keep attacking me. Ran back to my ex, the world saying it's toxicity. But they don't know he blessed me with my only son. That's why it's hard to let him go, but now I think I'm done. Who would have knew that a bundle of joy would fix my heart? I swear he gave me that fire when I was in the dark. I'm crying out to God to help me with these hard times. Don't want no drama, so I'm throwing up the peace signs. Yahweh, Yahweh, there's only one way in this God way. Yahweh, Yahweh, there's only one way in this God way. Mm. That's fire. That's fire. And she's, she's talking about real life experiences. And I just said here the other day, and God told me that he's about to start using a lot of people from the hood. Those with tatted faces, all those, all those out there that many people are overlooking, and many people who secretly within the church actually want to be like. And here we have this young lady right here, and she said she wants to do gospel, but she specifically said she said her gospel. And when asked, what did she do? She ministered through song. She talked about experiences and her child's father, who was blue face, and talk about her running back to him. And let me tell you why I think this is so beautiful. And um, why it's so significant to me is because there was actually a time for me when I actually came into um, the church, um, the traditional church. And anything that was not um, traditional and what we would call, um, you know, gospel music that, that sound different other than a hymn or you know, just some church music that didn't have any other style or form to it, I would throw away. And I, I had my reasons, but God began to show me um, later on that there are many different ways to minister and how to reach people. And if we want to reach a generation right now, the only way we are going to reach them is talking to them in their language. And, and that's how we had to do it. I look at what she went through um, to come here. And I know it's going to take some prayer. Because um, even as she was singing. Um, she talked about a battle. If you would just listen. Throughout the book of Acts. There were uh, many things that took place. As the apostles was going around. And, and, and preaching to people. Inside the church and outside the church. And one of the things that I thought about was in the book of Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas, they was locked up and they was behind the wall. And um, they got to singing and before you know it, the jail, do the jail doors opened up and they could have bounced. And um, a lot of the jailers, you know what I'm saying, they was, they, they was, they was um, in there, you know what I'm saying, and it was turned up. But nevertheless, um, the um, guard who was supposed to be guarding him, um, he was terrified when those doors was open, knowing that his life was going to be gone because he was supposed to be watching them and thinking to himself, they have gotten away. Well, anyway, 
make a long story short, Paul and Silas, they didn't leave, so the man didn't end up getting killed and lo losing his job and all of that. And he ended up turning his life around at that time. And he asked, what must I do to be saved? That was the exact words that he said. And the brothers told him, Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Sometimes we have to go through experiences in order for us to sober up and really come to reality. We had to go through things. A lot of people in the hood, they can't, they can't listen to someone who is not talking about an experience that they can relate to. And so while we, will, while, while we want to keep it the character of Christ... You can you, your personality can be used by his character, by his spirit. And let me just say this right here before I land my plane and I'm about to get out of here. But listen, the term Christian was actually given to those that follow Christ. It was not anything. It was not anything that was to be make you proud. It was actually considered a derogatory statement. These are those guys who follow that man and they are Christians. It was not anything, you know what I'm saying, to be glamorized like a lot of people use it now. It was actually, you know, a diss. So a lot of people who they go around and they look down on these other people and they don't have no clue that Christians have always been the outcast out of society. And many of those who are outside there in the hood, they're going to start preaching this gospel because guess what? Christ, when he died, he didn't die on, he didn't die on the cross next to no saints. Nah. He died on the cross with felons. That's who he died on the cross with. Felons was the one who received the death penalty.